Hey, what's going on you guys? So I wanted to talk to you guys today about this guitar. Um, I've been gigging a bit lately with it. Uh, I recently picked it up and I've really started to like this guitar a lot. This is of course the John Mayer Silver Sky PRS uh, signature model. Um, it's obviously been a very polarizing guitar since its inception in I think 2018. Um, and I think a lot of that has to do with John Mayer himself. He's a very polarizing artist. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of hate for that guy. And I got to say, I'm not sure why that is. Uh, he's a fantastic guitar player. And, um, even if you don't particularly like his music, you can't argue with the success he's had. Um, and he's been able to, uh, you know, play music with some very, very famous uh, blues artists along the way and, and other folks. And uh, I just think he's a great uh, player, and I do enjoy his music, but this isn't about that. This is really about this guitar. Um, I've had a couple of these in the past. When they first came out, I got one, and I had another one maybe three years ago, and I've just sort of circled back around to this guitar. Um, I got a chance to play one again and was just really remembering the things that were great about the guitar. The neck feels really comfortable, nice medium C. Uh, the fret ends, nice, really, really comfortable. Um, a nice roll on the fretboard edges, uh, you know. And it's just a great, to me, it's a great looking guitar. Now I know this headstock throws a lot of people off. The three on the side is maybe something that a lot of people can't get down with. They're not into that look, but I actually think it looks kind of cool, and I love the locking tuners. Um, I think the guitar sounds great. I have, uh, when I got this one, it had a white pick guard on it. There's a guy on Reverb that does um, exact replacement, um, different color pick guards. I got this mint green one, which I think looks fantastic. Um, just search Silver Sky pick guards on Reverb and you'll find him if you're looking for a different color. He does them in all colors, and they do absolutely fit 100% perfectly. Um, so that was really cool. And they're pretty reasonably priced, I think like 35 bucks. So um, anyway, the guitar itself, I think the pickups sound great. Right now I'm plugged into this little Yamaha amp. Quick side note, I borrowed this from the shop I work for. Um, I can't recall the model of this one, but um, I will link to it anyway in the comments, or not the comments, in the description. Um, but I borrowed this because it's battery powered and a friend of mine and I had a wedding gig in La Jolla um, on the beach, literally on the sand. So there was no power, nowhere to plug in. So he has a battery powered PA um, and I brought this along and it sounds great. Um, a really cool little lamp. So if you're looking for something that's very portable and also battery powered, uh, this thing sounds phenomenal for the size and power. It's a five watt amp. Um, it comes with a power supply too, so you can plug it in at home, but I just still have the batteries in it and figured for this uh, video I would just flip the switch and turn it on. Um, so I'll play a little bit. Um, this is the neck pickup, so you can kind of hear the Silver Sky pickups and uh, this is a lamp. <laughs> sound in. So all the killer Strat sounds are in here. Um, and this, I think, is a great gigging guitar in uh, in the sense that you can find these used for well under $2,000. Um, and it's a pro-level instrument. Obviously, these are the ones that John actually plays. It's not like he has a custom shop version or anything. And he tours and plays them. Um, and, you know, as opposed to 
a really great plain custom shop strap, which now if you go buy one, you, even in the used market is a, a tad over $3,000 now. Um, so it's a little, you know, you feel a little hesitant taking those out and playing them for fear it might get stolen or damaged or something. But this is just a great way to go. It feels great. It plays great. It sounds great um, and quite affordable. So uh, if you if you haven't checked out by now, I mean, I know it's been out quite a while, but if you haven't checked out the Silver Sky and you're thinking about a Strat style guitar um, and maybe something as an alternative defender, I can't recommend the Silver Sky highly enough. I really think you'll enjoy it if you give it a chance. So, um, yeah, man, check out the Silver Sky.